Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna explain uh, how to use the date store editor from Slickme. So first of all I would recommend you to uh, have at least a little bit of knowledge about date stores, like what they are and what they are doing. You don't uh, need to understand how date stores work, I will explain it um, in this video. So first of all, the most important thing you have to uh, do is go here to the game settings, go to security and enable studio access to API services. This will uh, this has to be turned on for data stores. So turn that on like I already have done it and don't forget to click save. Also make sure that if you have a digital script make sure to publish your game or save to Roblox so <clears throat> you are sure that everything works. Secondly you have to make sure that you are in the game where you want to change some data store. So let's go to plugins. Now first I'm going to the data store script. I'm gonna explain it. Get the data store service. Uh, without that we can't use data stores. Here we get the data store name. This is not a name, this is the name. In this case it's equal, but it doesn't matter. Like if I call it my data store, then the name of the data store is called StatsDS. Here we have the player edit function. We get the player as a parameter. Uh, we get leader stats folder. We get cache diamonds and reverse the cache. Uh, the value from all those things is by default zero. Get data here we get the data from the data store and if there was some data we make the voice equal to the data and else we're else not here if the player is leaving here we save the data actually and we it's important to know that first of all this is the data store name and here we have the data store key we use the user id because that's different for every player so that's really useful and i really really recommend you using that and something behind it so i have user id uh, and now i have stats after it if you want to know what your user ID is, you have to go to the view tab, open the comment bar and the output. And in the comment bar you type print game dot players color uh well you get user ID from name sync and then you type in brackets you type uh, the player name press enter now you have an output your user ID. So what I do always is uh, press Ctrl V, select this, copy, and remove this. So now I have my own key. Now we go to the data store. We go to data store editor. And here we have to fill in the name from the date store. So that was step yes according to line 2 of the script. Scope is uh, global by default. If you are using an order date store, probably not if you're just a beginner. Uh, if you use it, you have to check it, else uh, let it in check. Now we connect. Here we have to uh, fill in the key. I press Ctrl V and press Enter. And here, this is a good example 
Um, I'm using an array and for diamonds, for coins, and uh, I don't know, another one, I forgot the name. Mostly, if you're not using a dictionary, you're, I'm opening it right here. So we have cash, this is cash, this is diamonds, and this is revert. So to use this digital editor, um, sometimes you only have a string or a boolean for you, which is true or false, or yeah, or a, a dictionary, an array, and you can insert other things. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, show how to use this first. We have. 30 of this, double click it, and now we will set it to, I don't know, let's say 25, press enter, but it's not safe right now, to save it you have to go here to the little save icon and press save. That is so the uh, so the digital editor doesn't override the date store. This will prevent errors. If we double click this again, you will see you will notice a little E right here. If you click on it, you can make you can get more lines. And let's say hello world. If you click set, it will save the volume. This looks a little bit weird, probably. But that's how you can save multiple string volumes. I'm gonna reset it, this all. So, yeah. Now, if I, if I go to here again. Uh, no. Now, if you want, you can use these two buttons to export and to import data. I don't have a um, uh, file to import. You can import a Lua file and it will, the digital editor will show the data from that Lua file. You can also export this, not gonna do that right now, but that's how you can use You can also delete the everything from the whole key by pressing here and delete it asks you to if you really want to delete the key you can delete or cancel uh, there's a note this action cannot be undone that's because it doesn't get saved if you, if you delete it so I'm gonna cancel it as you can see it was 30 before I changed it to 25 I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna play and let's see if we have 25 and as you can see my cache has changed to 25 still have the diamonds and the reverts if we get some cash we have 25 it's now 55 I'm, i made this thing so we get extra rebirth of course this is not how to use it but just for example so now we have 55, 25, and 5. 55, 25, and 5. Now, if we leave this and we'll go back to the plugin, that's DS, connect key, you will notice that everything is still uh, like how it was when we left the game. So that means that this whole data store editor is working. Um, Yes, so that's like how it works. With a dictionary, um, I'm gonna make a random uh, play use ready. This is how it looks like when there is no data for your play store. When there's no data, it says no data, and here stays. Here stands. Here stands. Uh, create data button. 
And as you can see, you can insert a string value, a number value, a boolean, true or false, or a table. Um, yes, that was what we just saw with the three values. You can have a string value. It's called item. Let's say hello world. And you have to click save to save it. Uh, we can also get a number uh, for obbies. It's really useful for obbies or cash or I don't know. Uh, and a table. We can get an array or a dictionary. We can get a key. Let's test. And you can change this. Let's say 45. This is more if you know how to use it. If you know how to use date store pretty well, you can if you know how to use this, it's really useful change things because this makes it really easy to do. We also have like I said order at data store. You can see the order data store. I don't have an order data store right now right here. But I will show some uh, pictures on screen from a data, an order data store. That's um, this is used by I don't know probably with that AFK games going on. It has that has a order data store which uh, gets all the data and it stores it as a list, kind of a list. And with the data store editor, you can uh, rank them by value, by uh, value going up or going down. That's how you want it. You can also have between 50 and 100, for example. So you can easily change this. Uh, so you can easily change this all. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, for the uh, for the digital edi editor. That's actually all you have to know when you are using a data store editor, just by default for beginners. If you want to know how to make a data store, you can click on the... If you want to know how to use a data store, you can click on the video which shows up on screen right now. And if you want to know my other favorite plugins, you can see, you can check them by the other video, which is going on screen right now. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new. And don't forget to comment um, your opinion about the Data Store Editor. Thanks for watching. Bye.